A protest at a California university has prompted calls to terminate a high-ranking campus official. The effort comes in response to Stanford Law School students interrupting a speech by conservative federal judge Kyle Duncan invited by Stanford's Federalist Society. Associate Dean for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Tyrion Steinbach joined the student-led protest with a lecture of her own. So for many people in this law school who work here, who study here, and who live here, your advocacy, your opinions from the bench land as absolute disenfranchisement of their rights. Duncan, who's also calling for Steinbach to be fired, compared her speech to a bizarre therapy session Stanford Law School has issued a formal apology. And Alex Murray is the Director of Campus Rights Advocacy at the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression. She joins us now for more. Alex, you know, I think the general consensus is it's one thing for students to protest the judge uh, who is visiting the campus, but another thing entirely for the Associate Dean. Your thoughts? Well, a couple different things going on here. It's definitely unusual for, uh, I, I dare I say, unprecedented for a uh, dean at this high level to come into a shout down as it's happening and effectively encourage the hecklers. Now, of course, protesters are always able to peacefully protest other places on campus, but when you are in a speaking event, it's effectively a closed forum and you cannot be uh, shouting someone down and just saying as the protesters here are doing uh, that it's just counter speech, it's censorship. So, Alex, was this protest an isolated incident, or are things like this happening at other law school campuses? Well, you know, this is getting a lot of coverage because it's one of the more extreme ones we've seen. And as you mentioned, we did have a high-level dean, uh, the DEI dean in this case, coming in and saying, you know, we love free speech, but wink and nod to the protesters. I'm kind of glad you're protesting this quote-unquote harmful guy. We have seen similar situations at other law schools, at schools around the country, once a month, a couple times a month sometimes. One of the more troubling trends we've seen just this year is a growing appetite for things like disruption um, and even sometimes an appetite for violence to uh, stop controversial speakers from speaking on campus. Uh, you just mentioned the trend and the growing appetite. Uh, the Associated Press published an article yesterday that reports that attacks on free speech in general are, are rising across America. What do you attribute that to? Well, you know, it's been a tough couple of years, a very polarized couple of years since 2020. Uh, we had when we had, you know, upheaval with George Floyd, COVID, the 2020 presidential election. And since then, there's been something of, you know, a fallout from this this reckoning, this polarization in society. And it's getting harder for people to see each other as nuanced, layered humans and find points of commonality. Instead, it's a lot of us versus them. And what we try to encourage at FIRE is, you know, free speech is not a right-wing value or a leftist value. It's not something that one side or another, one religion or another can claim. It's something that belongs to all of us uh, and that we can use as a tool to work together uh, to see the changes that we want to see in society to advocate for them. So we're trying to get people to care about free speech as a force for good as we believe it is. Alex, where do you see free speech going from here? What lies ahead? Gosh, well, we're trying to get it to be, you know, uh, a household name in a good way. We want people to understand that free speech is something that can work for them, whatever their values are. Uh, my specialty on college campuses, we are working hard to get students, you know, students on college campuses in many ways are, are some of our future leaders, and we want right. them to bring those values into, uh, into society when they graduate. Alex Mori with the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression. We appreciate your thoughts and your insights tonight. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for having me.